Some people like collect toys, you know. That's a hobby. You know? Some people play golf. But for me, producing film, that's my hobby. It's 5K, but I got a film. We have been oversaturated with so many filmmakers and so many short films. You better do things that belong to you. My father, he was a fan of uh, Steve McQueen, Lee Marvin, Charles Bronson. So I grew up watching all those American heroes movies. And uh, we read a lot of comics because my dad was also a fan of Marvel and DC comics. It was very early point in my high school years. I know I wanted to be a comic artist. So I didn't know where to start. Graphic design was a work that I kept doing, but I'm drawing on my own time, doing my own sketches, uh, my own characters and stuff like that. Theatre is my closest training in directing and acting. But I went in as a backstage crew, uh, ticket usher, and then uh, lighting assistants, stage managing and stage crew. You always start from the lowest ranking in a system is that you learn the ropes of the whole thing. By the time when I directed my first play, it was in 2000. For me to direct after five years, I'm very young. I always loved small cameras. I hate big cameras. But now the smartphone is better than our mini DV 20 years ago. Low light, 4K, and it's really, really sharp. So that's where me and my friend thought, hey, let's make a short film, narrative stuff. Do it properly, we just shoot it with a phone. We want to experiment the capability of a smartphone to prove to a lot of people if they like the film, then they'll tell you it's shot on a smartphone. When you do independent films, you better get it watched. So they know this style of film exists. If they like it, there'll be a plus point. But get some people to talk about it. Like my films now, I think you change a lot of people. Shoot something. <laughs> shoot anything. But shoot. Don't just sit there and wait for people to give you money or wait and ask you to shoot, then you shoot.